the American Heart Association announced brand new guidelines that changed the stroke window from six to 24 hours. We're gonna double the number of patients that we could treat under a six hour treatment guideline. So the way that we used to take care of patients with ischemic stroke is it was very, very time sensitive. We were on the clock. And what that resulted in is a lot of patients not being eligible for any treatment for their stroke whatsoever. The belief was that about two million brain cells die every minute. And if that was true, of course, we would never be able to treat patients out at, at 10 or 12 or 16 hours. Patients who wake up with a stroke, are not a candidate for treatment, and patients who have a stroke far away are not a candidate. And one of the Stanford faculty members, Mike Mosley, discovered that you could see the stroke evolving in real time with diffusion imaging. So this was a new MRI technique, which would actually allow us to see in real time the development of the stroke. So what we learned from that is that it's not all about time, that everybody's stroke grows at a different rate. So as we noted this, we said, well, this could be a, a, a real breakthrough for treatment because it means that some of these patients who are coming late, maybe we can treat them. So we knew that we needed to automate this and we needed to have a, a software engineer to write a sophisticated program. And we wanted to call it rapid because it had to be quick. So for our clinical care, the software makes a huge difference in how we can manage our patients at Stanford. I can be at home, out of the hospital, a patient comes into the emergency room, they get scanned, and immediately, within minutes, the image shows up on my smartphone. I know right away, is this a patient that needs immediate intervention? If I can look at the imaging and say to a patient and their family, right now you have a very small amount of injury to your brain, but you have a lot of brain tissue that's at risk of dying if we aren't able to get that blood clot out. We can help you. Let's take you upstairs. We're gonna get that blood clot out and we're gonna give you the best chance of having a good outcome. But just from treating a few patients, you can't prove anything. You have to do a well-designed scientific trial. So that set the stage for the Diffuse 3 trial, which is a large randomized trial. This has been our holy grail. To have the results of this study and prove that this theory that we've had for 20 years is correct uh, is incredible. We're actually now uh, transforming our whole system in how we take care of patients who have acute ischemic stroke with large vessel occlusions. And uh, it is now geared towards uh, rapid diagnosis and rapid treatment. And what the software allows us to do is to make sure that we're treating the appropriate patient with the appropriate therapy. Uh, being able to help just one more patient who comes in neurologically devastated become normal is well worth it. We're not satisfied uh, until we can have this technology uh, helping even more patients.